Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to show you is how to polish out a horn, and it's like polishing out a car where you use compound first because the paint job's faded, and then you polish out the paint with wax. So what I do, what I use is Brasso first to get the tarnish off. Like you can see this tarnish mark right in here on the horn. So what you do is you get your brasso, you shake it up well. And you put a little on a towel. I use terry cloth because I like terry cloth. And what the brasso does is it works like rubbing compound. And you can see it took that little piece of tarnish off. Now you'll buff this out. And you'll think, oh, that's really bad. But see, the tarnish leaves a mark, so we have to get this out of it here. There's a, you can see it in the thing. So now what you do is you go to some flits. And this takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. Now you wipe that off. And you see how I got that part out of there. And then after you're done, you will take some lacquer thinner. And you'll get a little bit on a paper towel. And you can't get this next to the paint. And you will wipe that off. And now you can see the difference. And then you can come back, and that pulls everything out. But what, that, what this process does, most people only use one product on the horns. What this does is it turns the bell into that, literally a mirror when you're done. And a, what, what this is, what brass is, it's a mixture of zinc and copper. And because there's copper in it, say you have more copper than zinc when they make the brass, then you will get this green dot on your horn, especially like the Edisons. They used, I think, a lot more copper than zinc. It's a better brass. Victor used brass, but brass comes in different grades. You have soft brass all the way up to hardened marine brass. And it depends on the chemicals they add to it. This, I think Victor used really cheap brass on their horns. I think Edison on the early stuff, 1896 and so, used better mixture of their making of their brass that they ordered. But you need to check, you know, for the little green dots like this, because this will hit a hole right, right through your horn. You have to be careful. You know, it's a lot of fun. You don't have to polish these out all the time. You know, the other thing is after you're finished doing all this, you want to wipe everything down with a lacquer thinner, get all the little fingerprints off because when it starts to, when it starts to dull out, then you'll see little fingerprints in there. But this is very, very labor intensive to polish these out. But they look gorgeous when you put them on a machine. You put a machine in it, people just go, ooh, look at the horn. You know, I love this hobby, and that's my tip for today.